Friends, I got a question to ask you. Actually, I'm just here to vent. Have we lost our effing minds? I just have to know. Has the propaganda eaten away at brains so badly that we can't just show a display of decorum or humanity, maybe a, even an ounce of humility, maybe just making a, a broader big picture sweep before we post something on social media? Now I'm gonna leave the name out of this because I happen to respect the person that put this on here. And just for perspective's sake, I have, and this is, I have a blank friend or I have blank friends. This isn't that. What I'm saying is I like the diversity of thought. I like to be able to hear other opinions and take them in. And that might make me a little bit smarter. It might make me a little bit more diverse. It might make my thought process a little bit more caring and giving. I saw this cartoon, this political cartoon that was posted on Facebook today. It was from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, a guy named Mike Lukovich. I'll show you here uh, and judge for yourself. Okay, it's two Afghani women, obviously in the hills of Afghanistan, in their full burqa, so you can only see their eyes which is kind of telling. And they say, pray for Texas women. I put a reply on the person's post of that cartoon. Sometimes I just can't help myself. I guess my new job is to argue on Facebook and Instagram all day. If that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. But I think we've completely lost our sense of purpose here. This is what I said. This is without a doubt, the most tone deaf and offensive display of pure American arrogance I have seen in a while. Do you really think the women in Texas, who, by the way, still have plenty of legal challenges left for the heartbeat bill, are the concern of Afghani women? The Taliban are literally going door to door and executing husbands and fathers who help the USA, or just simply for being Christians. The women are killed if they're not already dead inside. Little girls are plucked from homes to be forced into arranged mar marriages with Taliban members. Can you imagine genital mutilation not being enough of a concern because some liberal women in Texas lost one of many legal battles to abort their fetuses? I think you need to get a grip and turn off the poison that's coming out of your TV and social media if you don't find this shockingly offensive. I understand that I turned preachy there, but I was feeling preachy, one. And two, I don't get it. I, I just don't understand how a major newspaper, first of all, like the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, could publish this cartoon, first of all. And second of all, somebody could actually buy that bullshit. The nerve. Afghani women dying in the streets, being beat and whipped, and they're like, Pray for the women of Texas. F you. Get back to your priorities. Get back to humanity. They don't give a shit about Texas. Not many people do, other than the mainstream media who wants you to believe, who wants you to fear that something is being taken away. And your president, who just gets behind it it jumps all over it because it's a good political issue. And as Barack Obama once said, we can't let a good crisis go to waste. Uh, their eye is completely off the ball. We got people arguing over whether dogs were left behind or not when there are actually human beings that are left behind. We have a press secretary standing up in front of a podium full of press people lying about people being left behind, children. The women of Afghanistan that I saw on the news, and maybe I'm being poisoned, were literally handing their babies over the fence at the Kabul airport to get their children out of Afghanistan. They're not worried about Texas, and they're not worried about the Supreme Court decision for abo pro-abortion rights. And if you think that this is a women's issue, let me ask you this simple question. Are you the same people that five or six days ago were telling the rest of the world, oh, it's so offensive that you don't think men can get pregnant. So this is a men's issue also, I guess. 
unless you're going back on that. You're a bunch of hypocrites. I'm Drew Breesy, and I'm entitled to my opinion.